Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about ERP implementation life cycle. Now what is ERP? ERP is basically a complete database of all the departments in your organization. All the data from different departments is going to be stored in that one single database and all the departments can have access to that database. So ERP covers the technique and concepts which are employed for the integrated management of business as a whole. When we say integrated, we mean that the entire ERP database is going to be integrated from multiple departments and entire business can access data from that one single database. There are different ERP packages which are software packages that support the ERP concepts. Let's talk about the ERP life cycle. In ERP life cycle, we are going to look at different stages in implementation of an ERP in your enterprise. These are the different phases of ERP. First, we have a pre-evaluation screening. Then we have the evaluation package selection. Then we plan the project. Then we perform gap analysis, which is the most important step in ERP implementation. After which we go for re-engineering. Then we do team training. Finally, there is testing and the last step in any ERP implementation is post implementation stage. This is how the process looks like. We start from the pre-selection process, go towards package evaluation, do the project planning and finally we go for the different steps like gap analysis, re-engineering, testing and user training. And after these phases are completed, when we go live, after going live, we have the post implementation phase. Let's talk about the first phase which is pre-evaluation screening. In this phase, we take the decision for choosing a perfect ERP package for our enterprise. Here we are going to deal with a number of ERP vendors who will quote their terms and conditions and the packet detailed with us. We are going to analyze each and every package details and then we are going to start screening or eliminating the packages that are not suitable for our company's process. Once we are done with this elimination part, then we are left with very few packages and one of them is going to be selected as our final ERP package. In the next step, the package that we have now almost selected as the final ERP package is sent for evaluation. Different basis of different parameters are set for evaluation of this package. We will also test and certify this package and also check the coordinations with different departments because remember that this package is going to be handled by multiple departments at the same time. Once you select the package, this is going to determine the success or the failure of your ERP project. Because your entire enterprise is going to have an overall by implementing ERP, you must make sure that your ERP package is user friendly and regular updation is available from the vendor or from your team and also the cost which is going to be a major issue because ERP never comes cheap. The next phase is the project planning phase. Here we are going to draw some actual designs for the implementation process. We are going to identify the resources that we need in our ERP. We will implement and we will start making the team which is going to be implementing the ERP and the tasks which are allocated to them. We will also make some special arrangement for contingencies. Contingencies are the things which we cannot foresee. So in such situations, what should be our backup plan that will be defined through the contingencies. The most important phase in ERP implementation is the gap analysis phase. In this phase, the company is going to create a model of where we are now and where do we want to go. So they will try to identify the gaps between the present scenario and they will try to analyze those gaps, those shortcomings or vulnerabilities so that they can be covered in future. Once those gaps are identified, then we are going to identify some functional areas of the existing system which needs to be redesigned. 
for that we are going to do engineering of the existing system and hence the name is re-engineering which is the next phase in your ERP implementation. Implementation is going to involve a significant change in the number of employees and their job responsibilities so that all the process become more automated and efficient in future. Your team must also know how to work on the ERP so we are going to give team training this is a long process of implementation most of the time it is going to be done prior to the implementation where the company will either hire external experts or they will team uh, or they will create a team of their internal members which will provide training to all the employees of the organization so that there is a smooth transition once the ERP system is ready to go live your employees will become self-sufficient so that they can handle the software on their own without any expert guidance in future. Then comes the testing team. In this phase, we try to find the weak links so that we can rectify them before its implementation. There might be some glitches or some issues in the software it is better to resolve them before the ERP is ready to go live so a team will be handling these testing test cases they will design some test cases with multiple inputs check the outputs and if the outputs are not according to the requirements they will suggest some changes to the existing software once all the previous phases have been checked then we are ready to go live in this stage the work on the ERP package is completed, data conversion is finalized, all the database is up and running, configuration is completed, testing is ok and now the system is ready to go live. So now the system is officially handed over to the organization's employees so that they can start migrating from the legacy system towards your ERP system. There should be end user training provided so that the employees who are going to actually work on the ERP system are in knowledge of how the modules are of ERP are integrated, what is the flow of data across multiple departments and how to access the database of the ERP. For that we need to give all the users end user training. Now that our ERP system has gone live, we can think about the post implementation phase. This is basically the maintenance phase where we try to make sure that the ERP is working as smoothly as possible. For this we have already created a training team and that training team is now understanding what issues the employees are facing day to day and accordingly they try to provide solutions to the employees grievances. So there are already employees who are trained and they can handle the problems which can crop up in future regarding the ERP software. The post implementation will need a different set of roles and skills than those which are the regular users. In summary we can say that if your ERP is selected in a proper way and implemented in a proper way we can get maximum value of inputs and if it is successfully adopted it will definitely show an improvement in the profit structure of your organization. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video.